Hello everyone. Welcome back to College Review Series by Akash. Today we are going to review an IIT. Rather we are going to talk about this IIT as this one needs no validation. In fact, it is every aspirant's dream and a matter of pride to get in here. Yes, you've guessed it right. I'm talking about Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay. So come let's find out how you can make it to this most prestigious Institute of Technology, IIT Bombay. Plus, if you want to know all about its campus, placements, fee structure and the college life, then do watch this video till the end. IIT Bombay is a public research university and technical institute in Mumbai, Maharashtra. It was established in the year 1958. It's a premier technical institution which is renowned for its academic excellence and innovation. IIT Bombay was ranked third among the engineering colleges by NIRF 2023, 172 in QS World University ranking and 40th in Asia. Let's talk about its wonderful campus. IIT Bombay is spread over an area of 545 acres and is located at Pavai, East Mumbai. The campus is a cluster of buildings. There are total 18 hostels for boys and girls. The campus provides ample of opportunities for sports that includes two swimming pools, football, hockey, cricket grounds, tennis, basketball, squash and volleyball courts. It also has a student's activity center known as SAC for various cultural and other extracurricular activities along with the biggest central library and computer center. IIT Bombay offers 11 programs in different branches of Bachelor of Technology, providing students exposure and experience along with wide range of opportunities for research and development. Now let me take you through that tunnel which can take you to this IIT. Eligibility and admission process. So the students seeking admission in one of these BTEC courses need to first of all pass class 12 board examination with physics, chemistry, mathematics as their major subjects with 75% marks if you are a general category student. 65 is the required percentage for ST, SC or PWD candidates. And secondly, you must clear J advance to be eligible for the admission process. And for that, you first qualify J main paper one. For foreign nationals, they need not to write J main paper one. In fact, they can register for J advance exam directly. Further, the students will register themselves for JOSA counseling based on the mark secured. So the selected candidates get all their documents verified and pay the required fees. For foreign students, they get selected through DASA and ICCR schemes. So let's have a look at the rank cutoff of the year 2023. So you get an idea that how much rank you need to secure in order to get your preferred branch. Let's start with aerospace engineering. Here, the rank started at 772 and closed at 2694 rank. For the chemical engineering branch, the opening rank was 1509 and the closing rank was 2824. For civil engineering, the rank cutoff started at 2290 and closed at 4371. Now, look at the computer science and engineering branch. The cutoff started at rank 1 and the closing rank was only 67. For electrical engineering, the opening rank was 142 and closing rank was 481. For electrical engineering dual degree program, the rank closed at 981. Talking about environmental science and engineering, the closing rank was 5401. And the same for metallurgical engineering and material science, it was 4649. This rank cutoff is for gender neuter students and for category wise rank, that is for ST, SC, PW and girls candidate, do visit the link given in the description. Let's talk about the fee structure now. Here is the consolidated fee structure for all the various courses offered here at IIT Bombay. And if we talk specifically about BTEC from IIT Bombay, then the total fee that comprises of the tuition fee, hostel and mess charges is going to be around 12 lakh for the entire four years BTEC program. At the very same time, the government provides certain fee waivers to its economically weaker section, like 100% tuition fee waiver to its SC, ST or PWD candidates, for remission of the tuition fee for general and OBC candidates whose family income is less than 1 lakh per annum. 
two third of the remission of the tuition fee for all the general and OBC candidates whose family income is between 1 lakh to 5 lakh per annum. In addition, the IIT offers various scholarship schemes to its meritorious and economically weaker section students, like Merit Come Means Scholarships. Now, Merit Come Means Scholarship is awarded to a maximum of 25% of the sanctioned intake of undergraduate. Here, the candidates whose family income is up to 1 lakh, they are exempted from paying the tuition fee. Further, the scholarship of 40,000 is again given to them per year. Now for women, Women Merit Scholarship of 10,000 per year is further awarded to the female students. Now the candidates with family income between 1 lakh to 3 lakh are again exempted from paying tuition fee first of all, further are given a scholarship of 30,000 per year. Plus women candidates are awarded 10,000 rupee per year as merit scholarship separately. The third category of students with family income between 3 lakh to 5 lakh are first of all exempted from paying tuition fee. Secondly, they are awarded with a scholarship of 20,000 per year. And for female candidates, they are provided with women marriage scholarship of 10,000 per year. The other facilities, which are facilities of free messing, are given to all the SC or ST students. Now, first of all, they are exempted from the tuition fee. Now, this one is for all the SC, ST category students with family income less than 5 lakh. So, the benefits that are given under this scheme the students are exempted from the payment of tuition fee first of all further they get free messing facilities pocket allowance is given of 500 rupee per month they are again exempted from the payment of hostel room rent and plus the women candidates women merit scholarship is provided to them of 10,000 per year for more information on the scholarships at IIT Bombay do visit the official website you'll get complete details now let's talk about the most talked about aspect of IIT Bombay that is placements. Indian Institute of Technology Bombay is renowned for its excellent placement record and for attracting top recruiters from various industries. Graduates from IIT Bombay have been placed in leading companies both in India and abroad. So if we talk about the first phase of placements for the year 2023 graduating batch at IIT Bombay, the highest international package offered was of 3.67 crore per annum, while the highest domestic package stood at 1.31 CPA. So a total of 1,431 students were successfully placed across 293 companies. Notably, 25 students secured packages above 1 crore per annum, However, this number in the session 2022 was 16, as 16 students received the offer of above 1 crore per annum. And 65 international offers were accepted by IIT Bombay during the placement season 2022. So the average package at IIT Bombay for 2023 batch was 23.26 lakh per annum. Now let's talk about the fest at IIT Bombay. It's no exaggeration if we say that fest here at IIT Bombay are not just famous among the Indian students. In fact, the students across the world look forward to attend these fests. So the annual Science and Technology Festival of IIT Bombay, Tech Fest, is held in December every year and is Asia's largest science and technology fest. And second, the annual cultural festival, Mood Indigo, is Asia's largest college cultural festival. The fest features some of the most influential personalities such as Adi Burman, Amir Khan, Sir Mark Tully, Sachin Tendulkar, Porcupine Tree Simple Plan, Mike Potney, and many more. Now let's have a look at some of the notable alumni. So these familiar faces, Bhavesh Agarwal, co-founder of Ola Caps, Jairam Ramesh, member of Rajya Sabha, K. Sivan, former chairman of ISRO, Nandan Neelkani, non-executive chairman Infosys, Nitesh Tiwari, film director, screenwriter, lyricist, Parag Agarwal, former CEO of Twitter, Raghu Raghuram, CEO VMware, Manohar Parikar, former Union Minister of Defence and ex-CM Goa, Vipul Goel, the stand-up comedian, you all know. So are some of the alumni that have started from this IIT Bombay. Now it's time to have a glimpse of IIT Bombay through the eyes of an IITian herself. Hi, my name is Tanishka Kagra and I'm a sophomore in the CSC department of IIT Bombay. The campus at IIT Bombay is really beautiful. Uh, it's surrounded by Pavai and Vihar Lake as well as Samir Hills. 
So, uh, especially during rainy seasons, it's lush green and you get to see a lot of wildlife around as well. Even apart from academics, there's a lot of stuff to keep you busy. There's a lot of college fests that happen all around the year. There's club activities to do. Uh, so, regardless of whatever you're interested in, be it music, dancing, sports, arts, it's overall uh, an amazing experience because um, there's just a lot of smart people around you and you have this opportunity to learn from them and observe them and see what makes them then. There are some challenges. So uh, you're away from home, maybe for the first time in your life. But see, here's the thing, there's a trade-off. Uh, for the girls' hostels, the mess room is like eh, but the rooms are really good. But for the boys' hostels, the messes are really great, but the rooms are uh, really small and they're often compared to matchboxes. I think the seniors are really great. They are all really sweet, so they will be willing to help you out regardless of when and where and in what situation you want to call them up. So yeah, you also have a lot of mentoring programs within the institute to uh, guide you throughout your first and second year. So yeah, I think overall it's an amazing place to be and to everyone who's coming over here, all the best. IIT Bombay truly provides state-of-the-art facilities fostering culture for research and development that further encourages innovation. So overall, in these four years, IIT shapes you up in such a way that you go out and create your own world. And if you also want to live your dream as a reality, all you need to give is your consistent hard work and dedication in all the efforts that you are making. So this was all from me today. Now you let me know in the comment section which other college do you want me to review next. And yes, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, do press the like and subscribe button so you do not miss out on any updates. For more such informative content, stay connected.